right the idea of this is the water comes down your your channel it splits into the bags but what happens is the flow is split so instead of all this water going into two bags or one bag which is going to cause a lot of turbulence um, this won't work so it, it, it won't allow the the mud to settle in the bags so what we do is we take it and we split it into four bags now what's happening is the turbulence in the bag isn't that great and the water that runs out down this channel now goes to the pump station at the back from that pump station it gets pumped by the pipe all, all the way to the beginning of the factory and that is what's carrying it's using that to transport all this mud all the way back into the system again so we're using dirty water to to transport dirty mud the water comes in all the way from there into the drain from the area all of that Yeah, water flows down the channel. All the way down to the system. Water running into the bag. No flow. Now, as you can see, uh, the, where the wood is flowing in, and here on the sides, you can see how it's flowing past the bags. I'm looking down into the furrows. Right. The water that, that was flowing past your bags now flows down through past slats and it comes out to this pre-pit. This pre-pit now basically collects any excess mud um, and silt, whatever's escaped the bags, puts it through the pump all the way through back to the bridge polisher which now brings all the super vines and the saw fines and the wire saw fines and all that all that mud comes rushing through again and gets caught into the bags the excess comes out of the bags and that's what you're seeing here and we're recycling this dirty water it's very hard in this pump um, we use a normal swimming pool pump and uh, you end up having to replace it for every two to three months um, it, it messes up the seals, it messes up er everything. The silt um, in the water is, is very abrasive. Um, it's also got a lot of super vines in it, which definitely uh, causes a lot of grief with, uh, with any mechanical seal. So once the bags have been filled enough, we leave them for about a week uh, for them to dry out and settle. Um, once it's dried enough, we then use a block and tackle to lift them out of the pits. So once, once the bag has been full oh, and, it's, and you've allowed it to dry, plus minus a week, now it's time to come out. Right, so 
now the bench is just about out. Okay, um, back it's loaded, yeah. The forklift. So you just hook, hook the corners in. Another green that's coming up there and there's the last green that we filled up and there's one behind it that we've already filled. 